Karma Bright. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Overcoming Narcissist Abuse and thank you for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers for being here. And today I wanted to talk, so I kind of, I'm, I'm going beyond the, the series, the, the Narcissist uh, Arsenal series. If I think of anything else, and there's a lot to think about dealing with the weapons that they use against you, but you know, and I'll add it to that series and I'll let you know and I'll announce it as I do the video. Today I just wanted to focus on just how jealous a narcissist is over you. So you already know during the idealization stage, they found you, they were looking for you, or they weren't really looking for you, but they happened to spot you, target you, and there was things about you that they really idolized. You know, all the things that they say about you is the truth. You know, you're beautiful, you're smart, you know, you're, you're productive, you're, you know, everything, but all the things that they look at is all the things that, how it's going to benefit them. How is what you do and the things in your life that benefits them? You have friends, you have, you know, you have friends, you have a career, you're building a business. So how are these things going to benefit them? And then remember after that, they eventually begin to devalue you. And so all the things that was wonderful and great are all the things that they'll now reverse and say opposite of. They're jealous of you because this is something that they're never able to accomplish or do. They can't have your personality. You know, it's crazy to think that they come into the relationship because they want to be you. They want your, they want to do what you're doing. They want to have as many friends as you do. How do you do what you do? How do you get people to like you? How do you make this business, you know, how do you make this business grow? Some of you guys have had the experience where you're with the narcissist and you've helped them. They've got great ideas. They just don't know how to follow through with the ideas. So you, they have these great ideas. So you come together with them to help them build this business, help them build these ideas. But if you notice, you're the one that's making this build business work. And what they do is they take all the credit about the business they created, you know, how successful the business is, you know, they're more interested in the fame and, and the money that comes with it. But in the background, it's you that is operating the business. It's not them. It's you that's operating the business, you know, and, and it was their idea. It was my idea yeah but I put legs and vision to your idea you have the vision I put legs and, and vision to your idea some of you guys who have your own uh, for example private practice or businesses know that when you're starting off in a business you have to find your own clientele you know you have to uh, uh, for a therapist we have to contract with different insurances not only do we contract with different insurances but as you're building the business you got to get your reputation out of there you know out there and then with the insurance companies they list you as a provider that provides services you know so people really don't know you at the time number two three four five you're your own biller so you have to check their insurances you have to build the insurances. then you got to keep up with it to make sure you get paid then you got to figure out why you didn't get paid because you need to know the billing codes which we're not coders so you have to know the billing codes so why did was this rejected so you have to as you're getting to know your business you know uh, you're also the the referral person you're also the person that may do the assessments and have to contact the um, uh, uh, lawyers Social Security um, you have to send paperwork to Social Security so you're now you're the admin person you're also the person that takes all the calls and if you don't have an accountant or a bookkeeper like I, I hired one if you don't have an accountant and a bookkeeper now you have to keep up with all your losses and expenditure and you have to keep it on file and you got to be able to print it up and you got to know how to file your taxes and you have to know what it is you have to claim and deduct from your um, you know from business expenses and so you you are, are building your business but they don't they don't care they don't think about all that all they care about is the the um, the grandiosity, the 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 reputation, that how they present themselves to people. You know, they want what you have and they want it now. They don't want the hard work that goes along with it. You may have the doctor title, you may have a master's degree. You know, they just want that. They want that reputation. They want what you have, but they're not willing to work for it. They're willing to ride off of the backs of other people so that they can be recognized, so they can be seen, so they can be known. But they don't want to put the hard work into it. They don't want to put in the hard work uh, that you put in into your business and they're jealous of you so the next thing you notice is when they devalue you and they begin to talk about you they'll say things like you know for a fact that 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 narcissist may be not all of them but that they may be a lot of them are are irresponsible with money so you're the one that helps them with the bank accounts you're the one that helps them maintain and pay for the bills then you may have you know they they purchase the house they purchase these new cars you're the one that's trying to figure out how to get more. There's not enough hours in the day for you to get more jobs to be able to bring in money to balance. You're telling them that 
you are over budgeting yourself. You have more bills than you have money and you're stressing because you're trying to make sure you can maintain and they don't concern themselves with that. All they concern themselves is the image that they have. A lot of times you look at your own account and you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, they're bragging about all the things that they have and all the things that they're doing for me, but all the things that they have and all the things that they're doing for me is coming out of my pocket. I'm paying for the stuff that they're giving me. That's like them going to buy you a, a beautiful home, but it's you who bought the beautiful home. How is that a gift? And so later on you'll hear them and, and this is how valuable you are. You'll hear them tell you. You know, and everything that they say, they're projecting because this is what they know about themselves. You are irresponsible with money. You don't know. They, they don't know how to start something and finish what they start. They don't know how to start something and make sure that it flows as it goes. You know, so they look at you like you're irresponsible with money. You don't know. I have I'm the visionary, but you don't know how to make anything. You know, you don't know how to see anything to the end or see anything through. They're taking a lot of things that they know about themselves or people have said and they put it on you. And then you take the responsibility of what they've said and you take it as if it's the truth. And it's not the truth. Nothing about the narcissist is the truth. Half the time when you're talking to them, you have to, it's it, it being in a relationship with a narcissist makes you stay on guard 24 hours a day. How can you not be relaxed and comfortable with an individual where you're always constantly on guard? Not only are you constantly on guard, everything that comes on their mouth, you have to scrutinize. You have to sift, decipher to see what part is truth and what part is a lie. And how did you mix the two together? And everything that they say about you, you know, you're lazy, you won't get up and do this. Some of you guys retired because of injuries, you know, so you got medical retirements or you retired because of the injury you weren't and all of a sudden now you're lazy. It's not the fact that you're lazy, it's the fact that they can't figure out how to get more money without having to work to get more money in order to uh, fund their grandiose ideas. You know, so all these ideas that they have, they're trying to figure out how to fund these grandiose ideas. And like I said, you're one person, you are one person and they're one person if they want to have these big fantasies and buy these jets off of a McDonald's income they need to figure out how to do that but you need to stop killing yourself and true enough for most of you guys who are in a relationship with a narcissist you know your thing is to make sure you protect them make sure you protect their uh, you know their reputation make sure you pray so don't feel guilty about doing that you did the right thing but you just know that that person isn't who you think that they are so they're not doing the right they're not doing right by you love is not an emotion now people argue with that that's fine, no big deal. An emotion is an emotion. You get the butterflies in your stomach. Some of you guys, you know, you look at grandparents and still get butterflies in their stomach and they're still happy, you know, because there's a real foundation that was built there. There is no real foundation built in a narcissistic relationship. Everything is a facade. And most of you leave out of the relationship and you look back, everything that they've ever said about you now, hindsight is 2020. Everything that they've ever said about you is everything that they thought or they knew about themselves. If they get criticized at work or get constructive criticism, at work they turn around and put it on you and it because you all of a sudden are the person that does this and you're thinking where is this coming from nine times out of ten is probably something that someone has told them about themselves so don't think for a minute that they don't know about themselves because people have told them but they take it and put it onto other people so this is but you see how jealous they are because number one they find out that you are a real person a real human being real emotions real issues at the same time they also realize that you're genuine that who you are is who you really are who they are is not who they are and so now they're angry because you have you have proven yourself your character is is who your character is and they're not everything about them is fake and they can only hold on to that for a little while before the mask starts to slip some masks slip very fast some masks slip and even eventually that's why a lot of you've been in the relationship for over 20 30 40 years well, they love bombed you for so long. Some of you have been love bombed for so long because there's other stuff going on in the background that you were not aware of that you turned a blind eye to. But there were red flags all along. So hopefully this house has helped you guys. Now you see why they're jealous and you see that you do have value. Go back and think about all the things that were said to you and see how they apply to them and not you. Stop taking accountability and stop taking responsibility for something that they're saying that actually applies to them and not you. Separate the two and know you. You have to know you and stop wobbling on the, you know, you're like teetering on this fence wondering, well, maybe it is me. Maybe, it, no, it's them. Let it be them and you move on with your life. 
figure out how to escape. And some of you can't just jump up and leave because you're married and you have children. And there are laws that cover parents. You can't just get up. They can get you for kidnapping. So use the resources available to you. For example, for example, domestic violent programs. Let them advocate on your behalf. Let them advocate on your behalf in order to help you and your children escape from this domestic violence. And stop downplaying it. If they're not physically abusing you, they're still abusing you. And just let them know, I don't know what they're capable of doing, especially when I get ready to leave. I'm afraid. And you talk to the domestic violence advocate. And then you find out. And some of you guys are going to have to get beyond that pride. You know, yes, you're going to lose a lot of materialistic things. But materialistic things are materialistic things. But you only have one life. Your children only have one life. You can get material things back. And you can build it up slowly by yourself and when you build it up so you may lose everything and build it up by yourself but it's something you did for yourself and you'll value it even more you see what i mean because things material things can be replaced lives cannot escape with your life escape with your children's life or you're going to breed a whole new generation of narcissists so thank you guys for listening i'm dr carmen bryant subscribe overcoming narcissist abuse i have a book out called unmasking the illusion of perfection barnes and noble and on Amazon, you can get a Kindle, you can get an ebook, you can get the hard copy. Or if you are overseas, a lot of people are overseas, and a lot of times the, these two publishers do not send out Amazon and Barnes and Noble don't send overseas. So you can go to West Bow Press, which is my publisher, and they will send it overseas. Give it a stocking stuffer. Give it to people that are women or men that are in homeless shelters because a lot of them have been through it. They just don't talk about it or they don't understand. Also, make sure you subscribe to my uh, mentor's uh, YouTube channel. is Helen Sadler, Destiny Helper. Let us work with you for six months. Excuse me, listen to our videos for six months and see what happens in your life. I promise you there's going to be a change. I promise you you're going to wake up in your mind and you're going to realize the trauma that you've been to and you're going to realize your own value. So thank you guys so much for listening. Also, those of you seeking coaching, I do coaching. I do coaching. I do counseling inside the state of Washington. I cannot provide counseling outside the state of Washington. If you're looking for counselors, go to betterhelp.com backslash Dr. Carmen. You'll get a 10% discount. And these are vetted services. So I vetted them. People have given me good reviews on them. These are some awesome counselor licenses in your states that will provide you with online counseling, telephonic counseling. And if you're having monetary issues, let them know and they'll provide you assistance through grants. Also, I'm a coach. So you email me at Dr. Carmen Bryant overcoming... Ugh, that is my page, Dr. Carmen Bryant at Outlook.com. All the information is right underneath my YouTube channel. You can click on there if you want to donate. Thank you so much because you guys are helping me. I got a new stand and all the pretty lighting in the back now so I can actually put my cameras up on so I don't have to place books on there. So it looks so much better, right? So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe and share, share, share. You guys have a great day and go be great.